number two Augie wishlist request has been granted with the addition of a new geometric center object snap. It's accessible by entering GCE at the command line, as well as from typical OSNAP controls, including the drafting settings dialog box, status bar, and contextual menus. Now you can easily snap to the geometric center of polygons and closed polylines. A new object tracking glyph distinguishes the center object snap from other object snaps that display the traditional plus glyph. The isometric line grid now updates when you change the isoplane via the isometric drafting status bar control as well as with the F5 toggle. When you move or copy a large number of objects in the 2D wireframe visual style in AutoCAD 2016, the move preview is generated quickly. After fully regenerating in one location, you can move it freely around the display without lagging. Property preview performance has also been enhanced in AutoCAD 2016. For example, when you want to preview color changes for a large selection set, you can move your cursor freely on the properties palette or ribbon controls to preview the change without lag. With hardware acceleration turned on in AutoCAD 2016, the selection effect color can be customized by clicking on the selection effect color dropdown on the selection tab of the options dialog box. Command preview functionality has been extended in AutoCAD 2016. When you use the blend tool to blend two segments together, a preview of the set of blended objects is displayed. The erase tool grays out the objects that will be erased, helping you visualize the results. The scale tool grays out the selected geometry while offering a more visible preview of the resulting geometry. Similar command preview functionality is also applied to the stretch and rotate tools, enabling you to see the results in context with the original geometry. In AutoCAD 2016, XREF layers are displayed as gray text since objects on those layers cannot be edited. A new system variable in AutoCAD 2016, however, does enable you to override the display of XREF layers. When set to zero, the new XREF override system variable provides traditional XREF layer behavior. For example, if the object colors in an XREF are set to by layer, you can change the XREF layer color in the parent drawing, but you cannot change the layer color for any objects that are not set to by layer. If you set the new XREF override system variable to one, however, when you change the XREF color in the parent drawing, all the objects on that layer will honor that color, regardless of their individual color settings.